والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله وصحبه ومن والاه تقبل الله طاعته uh, today's khatra uh, will be about something you know i told you one of the main umbrellas that i'm working underneath it is uh, correcting or fixing misconceptions how to صحيح بعض المفاهيم Those who were with us just a few hours ago, when I finished the, uh, when I did my khatara, the last thing I said, if you remember, was what? Dawu wardakum, bussadaqat, or bussadaq, or kama qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Which means, if you want to, uh, uh, your illness, your, you yourself or anyone related to you, to be recovered, to be healed, so pay the sadaqa. The concept of to be recovered because of the sadaqa, or... The concept of a ruqya. You know ruqya? Yeah. What is the ruqya? It is reciting some chapters from the Quran, some verses from the Quran on someone who's facing a mental or a physical health problem in itself to be healed and to be recovered. A ruqya sharia. It's part of our religion and it's a part of our faith, no doubt. Okay? But let's see the misconception. Some people who think that they are facing envy, hasad, or they are facing magic, okay? Mas'ureen, for example. They go to, quote-unquote, shiyukh, to do what? Ruqya on them. Does this happen in all Muslim world or not? So now, whether I'm doing ruqya by myself, or I'm going there for someone else, or whether I'm paying the sadaqah with the intention, I want to fix the misconception of doing something for the case of something else to be achieved. And the big misconception. Now, for many reasons, indirectly, many Muslims, they are of the idea that once the ruqya has been done, خلاص, the job is finished. Regardless of who's doing it, regardless of the niyyah of the one who's doing it, which is a big mistake. Plus, now for many reasons, when someone recites the ruqya, for example, which is could be, many, many, you know, ayat. Uh, even with the intention, our minds will be stuck to the fact of the recitation itself. And we forget that the real doer, the real performer of the shifa is Allah, not the Quran. It's not the recitation. Even with the pure intention, it's not the recitation that heals. It's Allah who heals. Why I need this? I need this to correct the, the following misapplication. One. Because Allah is the one who gives me the health, who takes the health from me, and it's just a means of communication to recite the Quran. Because the Quran itself does nothing, it's Allah who does. So, therefore, miscorrection. If you want to do ruqya, please let the person who does the ruqya be someone whose heart is bent on the person who needs the ruqya. Don't go to any person because he is well known. He might be busy of how much money he will receive from you. Not necessarily out of sincerity from his heart. Okay? Because basically, we need a sincere, genuine da'wah so that Allah will respond. It's not just the phenomena of the sound. No, 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 no. This does nothing. Allah is the one. But how Allah will respond? We need... Class. From whom? Either from the person who is in need or the one who is doing Durkia or both. Or actually we need both. Imagine, can you imagine someone who is, God forbid, holding some kind of atheist doubts against Allah and he's facing a health problem. If his mother is reciting Durkia on him, anything will happen? Definitely no. He's a rude person with Allah. He does not accept his existence. He's fighting Allah. Even if his mother is reciting, his mother will receive the ajr for her niyyah. But he himself, nothing. He's a waqah with Allah. He's refusing Allah. So what will do? Nothing. 
I myself must be accepting this concept. Either I do the Ruqiyah, by the way, the best thing you yourself to do the Ruqiyah for yourself. The best. Because no one knows how, what kind of suffering except yourself. But let's imagine for whatever reason, your kid do something, Ra'a, the mother, the father, the sister, the brother, the husband, the wife, but not someone else, even if he's good and nice. Not necessarily. Can you imagine anyone else rather than you as a father or a mother will have this kind of amazing, you know, fear on your child like someone else? It's impossible. By nature, it's impossible. So, from one angle, we need sincerity, okay? So that the text will be, if I may, for, uh, if I may put it, to be activated by Allah. <laughs> because the text does nothing. It's Allah who does, does okay? Now, in general, let's come to the other concept now. Ruqya uh, in general, for hasad, for sihr, for ayin, whatever. People, they are stuck with the recitation and they don't pay attention to the fact. I, I, I remember once I was on uh, one of the TV channels in Jordan. If you remember those, uh, you know, the Jalil and Sha'awadin, what's the name of the Jalil? Sorcerers. Magician. Psychic, 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 psychic people. Huh? You know, if you remember about 10 years ago or more, we used to have uh, some of the night and on the night sets for the Iyat Sha'wadah. They talk about hearing the people through reciting the Quran, Abu Ali, Um Ali, Mush'arf Min, for the Iyat. They used to put their hand, if you remember, on the screen. Yalla, ya um flana, ya put your hand. Yalla, yatla, blah, 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 blah. They, they used to have this kind of crystal things. And they mix magic with Quran, with some, and people, you know, from the Arab world, they used to, by the way, the one phone call, one minute, three dollars. Sometimes they keep in hold for 10 minutes waiting. Every minute by three dollars. And at the same time, maybe 1,000 persons, they are online. Can you imagine? Millions of dollars. Sha'awadu, Dajjal, cheating the people. So, subhanAllah, I, uh, so I was invited on the Jordanian uh, official TV channel to, to talk about these TV channels. You know, they, they misled the people. And unfortunately, out of ignorance, the people that used to believe in these things, unfortunately which is a big mistake from faith of view. By the way, this could lead to shirk. Yes, to associate something with Allah. So SubhanAllah, you know, the presenter, she was asking me, what do you think about those people? So I gave this example, I remember. I hold, I, you know, I did not have a Quran with me. At that time, I just had a piece of paper. But let's do it exactly like this, to imagine the example, to make it in short. This is what? Quran. Okay, Mus'haf, it contains the word of wow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I said, look to the example to understand the concept. Imagine that I'm holding the whole Mus'haf with me, and someone who's holding a machine gun against me, and he wants to kill me, physically and mathematically. If he's pointing the machine gun, and he started shooting me, you think the Quran will prevent me from being killed? Physically. No, 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 no. It will go and I will be hurt. Allahu Akbar the Quran. Ya Ammi. In this context, just, this is just paper and ink. But the Quran. It's paper and ink in this context. Type. This is the first example. To continue the concept. I do not have the Quran. And I do not memorize anything from the Quran. Except, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Wal Asr. Imagine that I'm a very simple, humble, naive person. Ignorant. And someone is directing his machine gun towards me, telling me, look, I will do so and so, whatever. And I have true faith in Allah. And I said, Ya Allah, if I deserve, Ya Rabbi, protect me from this criminal. If it does not go against God's will, I'm not reciting the Quran, and I don't know the Quran. But I believe that Allah is the one who's controlling the universe. And sincerely I asked Allah, without even reciting the Quran, what do you think might happen? Maybe an earthquake will happen, and this person will die while I'm looking at him and, and will not be touched. Maybe the machine gun will stop. Maybe he will be freezed. 
Maybe he will be part of tens of things if Allah decided because I deserve. So the point is, now the first example, if I'm, I'm, if my mind is stuck physically, ah, the Quran, no, 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 Quran does nothing, it's Allah. It's just a means of communication between us and Allah. Allah has asked us through Prophet Muhammad Muawwidat, for example, okay, for Allah, for Allah, for Allah, for Allah. Actually, the Muawwidat, they do nothing if you don't believe and you don't deserve. <laughs> And the one who performs the act is Allah, not the recitation, not the Quran itself. So let's not miss this concept. When we talk about sadaqah, about healing the uh, people who are sick or ill, about helping, about ruqya, about protecting ourselves, because some people they say, okay, you have to do, you know, to protect your children. Read them out without always. Oh, you do this, how do you go? Wait, 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 wait. Is it true that your heart is genuinely connected with Allah and you believe that He is the protector? If this is the reality, I can give you the glad tidings. Even if you forgot to recite, <laughs> even if you don't know how to recite, the action will be done. But if I'm reciting while my mind is busy with something else, or simply I don't care or I don't believe, practically, okay, and all the time I'm, I'm doing just as a sound. The critical point. So please, please, let's review our status with regard to what degree really we trust that Allah is the one who heals and that Allah is the one who protects. Otherwise, we are just wasting part of our time by going to this sheikh and that sheikh, this rupia and the rupia. The time does not help me to tell you about some of those people, you know how bad things they do just to earn money and they make benefit of the ignorant people. So genuinely from my heart, I do the Rukhya by myself with a sincere effort that I believe if this does not contradict with the big will of Allah against something for something else, like Torah Qustijab, the Dua, they will say response, be sure that you will receive a response. Zakur Rakhir, Salaam Alaikum.